Cause I'm still alive, it's a blessing Peeped a lot of niggas ain't gang They just come around me for gang Doing me, I'm in my own lane What's up y'all, it's The Real J Pool And today, I'm gonna be giving you guys A story on how I got into my first fight in college Let me give you the backstory. We just gonna call this boy The Beast So, I was talking to this boy named The Beast And I literally talked to him like one time On FaceTime And that was literally about the school Basically, he was just telling me how Ferris was Well, this was like my senior year, I guess you could say. But we was literally just friends. And I didn't have another conversation with him after that or before that. It was only that one time. Fast forward. I ended up going to Ferris, clearly. So it was orientation. And I met this girl named Jaja. We just gonna call her Jaja. And she basically introduced me to all the people. Like the lit party house, which was like Rick, Drago, VJ, b -Win, And they stayed in the rapids. Yeah, if you went to that house, you just know it was a hype-ass party. You was with a whole bunch of hype people. Everybody knows Welcome Weekend is like where you welcome in all the freshmen, basically, and all the new people that's going to that school. And yeah, you just get lit, you drink, turn up, smoke, whatever you do, you just have fun. It was Welcome Weekend, they had a party. And so the party was hype. When I tell you it was so hype, like, too over capacity. Like, I was standing on the, on the stairs. That's how freaking tight it was so i end up seeing mind you i haven't talked to the beast since like my senior year so i didn't really know if he would like remember me but i know he would like how could you forget anybody you had a conversation i don't know i just didn't think i was like unthinkable i guess i don't know what's the right word because like we used to you know be cool through social media so i'm like of course he remembered me Anyways, I end up seeing him walking down the stairs, right? You know how people act like they don't see you, but they really do see you? Like, they just be seen but want you to speak first? Clearly, it was one of them type of moments. Okay, I'm j -Poo. I'm not about the, you see me, I don't see you. And that's just facts. That goes for any male. Like, females, okay, I'll speak to y'all first, I don't care. But males, no. Especially if, like, you know, ladies, y'all know. I just blew it off because at the end of the day, I wasn't really there for a relationship or trying to talk to somebody. It was more so like, we was cool. Like, I was like hoping he would like introduce me to other people, you know, type thing, you know? Y'all know. So then next thing you know, the party's just going on, going on. I'm hitting everybody blunt. <laughs> Everybody drinking, I'm not a drinker. You know, they trying to get me to drink. I'm not with that, you know what I'm saying? Get on my face. Everybody know Rick not the type to say no. So I had to take one shot. So yeah, let me not boost. So basically we all on the stairs. Um, whoop -de -whoop -de -whoop. So I see him coming back around again. Like, I guess he see me at this point. He give me like a little side hood, like a little hurry up one. So I'm like, um, okay. I'm happy as heck, like, what up? You know what I'm saying? Yo, everybody know me, I'm always happy. Next thing you know, somebody end up fighting. And everybody knows at a Ferris party, if you fight, either the party is about to end or it's ended. And at that point, it ended because they was just overdoing it. You know what I'm saying? Just two big black girls doing too much. And I don't even remember who it was or why they were fighting, nor did I care at the time. The week passes, whatever. He ends up talking to me through Snapchat like that whole week and like trying to link up with me or whatever. I didn't think nothing of it. I didn't think he was trying to like talk to me at the moment. I'm, I'm thinking we just hanging, you know, keeping it cool, cordial. I'm not, you know, that's just the type of person I am. I don't really know when people are trying to talk to me and if they are, I wouldn't know until like we're in person, I guess you could say, or unless you send in emojis. So I wasn't really like on that. And plus, you know, it's my freshman year. I'm trying to get my little, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get my little chin chings up. Basically, I was so focused on school, we didn't end up linking that whole week because I just didn't feel like it. We ended up hanging out like probably like a month later because at this point, they just kept having parties at the house and I kept seeing him. So I was just like, why not? So I ended up hanging out with him in my dorm. Mind you, we did not do anything. I was not that type of person. Proud prude. I guess you could say at this point we talked. To be honest, I wasn't really like tripping over it. Like it was more so like I was literally just chilling. I basically tell Jaja and her friend and basically all my, you know, my little crew whatever that I talked to the beast and they were like, why do you talk to him? Don't talk to him. You know, his ex-girlfriend is crazy. She gonna come after you. Okay, me being the person I am, you're not gonna tell me to not talk to somebody because somebody is gonna come after me. You know what I'm saying? I don't care about nobody. I don't fear nobody. You know what I'm saying? If she's gonna come, 
come on. You know what I'm saying? Nice to meet you. I'm Jay Poo. Who are you? I took that as like a threat, I guess you could say. And plus, I'm a freshman there. Like, you're not going to threaten me about nothing. You know what I'm saying? So then next thing you know, I literally text him or call him. I don't remember. I did something. I basically asked him, like, what's going on with you and your ex-girlfriend? Like, what, what's going on? And he was like, you want me to delete our pictures or something? Like, what's the problem? Mind you, I didn't follow him on Instagram. So I was like, yeah, sure. And he did. <laughs> he was like, I don't talk to her no more. I don't want her. Like, I'm like, okay, cool. If a dude is telling me he don't talk to you, he don't talk to you. I know y'all ladies like, if a girl is, you know what I'm saying, she with him, she with him, you know what I'm saying? I'm new to the school, you know what I'm saying? I was not thinking about none of that. When you new to that school, if the girl don't confront you or you don't see them together, or people are saying like they never gonna break up, then you just should care less. Cause I clearly did not care about nothing. I'm like, okay, people not saying they together. They just saying she crazy. She crazy. Okay. What am I supposed to be scared? Like, anyway, so uh, basically we just kept hanging out, hanging out at this point, going to all these parties together. At this point, we're going to cafes together. I'm basically just cool with everybody in general, but I'm just hanging around the whole group. People are just seeing us on campus and everybody was just like talking. Okay, Ferris is a big, a big old high school. So once they see you with one person, the whole school will know. Let's say it was around November, I guess you could say. And um, I start seeing her at parties or whatever. She would see me, I guess, and like do the most. Like, I like that sometimes though. It kind of makes me feel good about myself when like you could be the chill person and like your chillness affects somebody else because you're not reacting. I mean, I'm cute. Like I'm not insecure about myself. Why would I feel like I need to act out for any reason? I don't even know you at the, at the end of the day. Like, regardless of the dude, I don't know you, I don't care for you. If you had a problem, you should've spoke up, like grown women should, but kids, you know what I'm saying? So I could care less. Yeah, I start seeing her at these parties, um, flashing tasers with her friends. <laughs> First of all, that was the funniest thing on earth because why buy a taser if you're not gonna use it? You know what I'm saying? You just using it for fashion, you know, for, for pictures and videos, you know what I'm saying? Just looking dumb. Anyways, I was not amused. I didn't care, you know, walk right past her, don't see you. What, what, what's next? Around like November, I'm not gonna say no names, but somebody had ended up showing me what she looked like. So I was kind of like, do she go to our school? So people was like, no, she don't go to our school. She ended up getting kicked out. Um, we ended up stopped talking in December because basically I had my own problems and he had problems of his own that I couldn't help, that she was able to fulfill. I'm not that type of person. I'm the gitch and you provide for me and then when i have a ring on my finger i will provide for you she was on the snap like talking about my bumps calling me pepperoni face where's the bumps now exactly glow up i didn't really understand why you she was talking so down on me her dude was talking to me you know like i can't stop somebody from talking to me you know what i'm saying which he had told her literally over the Christmas break, like he did not want to talk to her. Cause I has, I basically set him up cause I was just like, let me see what he's gonna say. And so basically I put him on three way and he was like, he don't want to talk to her and typed a whole message basically. See, this was like a triangle and I was just like, okay. I just thought it was funny to be honest. Yeah, she ends up calling me, trying to talk a woman to woman about whatever the heck talking about how he be going to her house and she bought everybody in the house food which i didn't really see why you would be so happy you bought the whole house food and they don't do nothing for you but round of applause it just buy him food because why not you know just impress one dude and buy his whole house you know food me and you not the same so basically we're just gonna fast forward it was february I remember this day because it was my roommate's birthday and her birthday is in February. Anyways, it was her birthday, whatever. So it was a hype icebreaker. Let me show you a little clip of how hype it was. So they ended up walking in like they was Beyonce and Jay-Z. Literally looked like dumb and dumber because when I tell you, I'm not even gonna say too much, <laughs> but just know 
hot mess. So I had seen them, I'm like, oh my gosh, wow. It wasn't more so like, I'm not happy for them. First of all, why would I be happy that you're talking to somebody else anyways? Not that I care, but it was like, why would I be happy for you? It's more so like, kudos, you know what I'm saying? Good job, I guess. Do what was expected, you know? So basically that was trying to be seen. So the beast ends up gets, getting on the dang on speaker doing the most. So then next thing you know, ex-girlfriend gets up next to him doing the most. And so at this point, I just had to turn around. Like, what are you doing? Plus at this point, the whole school knows because she didn't post everything on Snap. Talking about me the whole time. I'm humble, you know what I'm saying? I'm not about to sit on here and go back and forth with you on a Snap, period, because if you got something to say, you're gonna say it to my face. Um, at this point, they see I'm not acknowledging them. So basically she goes above waters and says, let me go ahead and get next to her and do the most. Listen, this is what really got me. So at this point, she's doing her little dance or whatever, and she's bumping me hard as heck, okay? I think it's funny. I think it's real funny, because the first time she did it, I'm like, hold on. <laughs> Caught myself, I'm like, hold on. Sis, what's going on? Took me a little second. Okay, this is her. This is the ex-girlfriend. Okay, so then she did it again. I'm like, okay, strike two. It's not going for a three. So then I'm like, okay, move. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do a little nudge, because you gotta go ahead and move on my way. You pushing me on purpose, so why would not? At this point, everybody's like, no, stop. And grabbing me, like I'm the problem. Like grab her, get off me. I don't need to be touched. I'm straight, I'm chilling. Ain't no, ain't no fist being swung, so what I'm mad for. But I don't know what happened, but she ended up getting out the way. And so they ended up leaving the party. Well, after every Ferris icebreaker party period, it's an after party. So we ended up going to, to CC house in Oakwood, which was like another lit party house. And basically, I walk in by myself. I have on a dress and some Ugg boots, okay? It's after the icebreaker, you know what I'm saying? I don't feel like changing. Walk in the party, it's the beast and the ex-girlfriend standing there like this, with all black on and like sweats, hat. I'm like. Like, when I tell you I wanted to burst out laughing in their face, I was like, dog. So I literally walk in there casually looking for my friends like, where's everybody at? Listen, didn't get touched. Didn't nobody say nothing to me by myself, okay? So I went back outside, I waited for my peoples or whatever. I think I think I told them like, look at what y'all about to see when y'all come in here. I guess they trying to fight. So anyways, we're gonna vroom vroom down the line. It was like the next day, I think. I guess she was still feeling tough. Mind you, the beast was with her. They were together at this point. I ended up doing some people that she used to hang out with um, hair. Like every time I was with these girls, it was never like we were talking about the ex-girlfriend. Like it was just cool vibes. We just had fun. They stayed in the dorm below me. Her ex-girlfriend ended up telling them to buy some really bad hair for a sew-in. Mind you, told them to get it from Sally's. Everybody knows Big Rapids Sally's, you don't buy nothing from there besides edge control or some rubber bands, you know, something you really desperately need. You don't buy no hair from there, no quick weave or sewing hair because it's not there. They try to finesse, it's Caucasian stuff. It's not for African-Americans. Basically, I told them that I'm like, this is not the right hair, but you know, we can use it. Like they were mad as heck. So they ended up calling her and snapping on her while I'm doing their hair. I think that she felt that I told them to do it, which I didn't. They're arguing on the phone back and forth. I'm just sitting there laughing because I just think it's funny. But to be honest, I really think that the ex-girlfriend was using them to see what I was doing because so many people were running back telling me that if they could watch me and watch to see if he's coming in my dorm, like stuff like that. I was just like, okay. Like they, they wanted to fight at this point. So the ex-girlfriend was like, let's fight in the dorm. And first of all, this is Merrill Hall. The RAs really care about their job. Like if a problem was to go down, they're calling the police. They scared of African-Americans. Okay, the ex-girlfriend is like, let's fight at McDonald's. And I'm like, you about to fight at McDonald's? Plus the school is right across the street. Like this is Magacha County. As soon as they hear any type of problem, they're on the way like this. And Humphreys, I'm scared of you, sir. Like that boy is giving you 15 to life. That man don't care about nobody feelings. Especially if you African-American. Oh yeah, you're getting locked up for sure. I'm like, I'm straight on that. I don't, I don't play with Magacha County. Stay away from me. They didn't end up fighting because basically we ended up getting turned up at 
the lit party house in the rapids because it was my roommate's birthday and so we made her come over with her boyfriend and his friends or whatever and we literally just got her drunk they got her some 1800 so we ended up cooking for them it was about like 12 o'clock at this point and everybody's drunk my roommate ended up getting too drunk so her boyfriend took her home or whatever next thing you know the beast ends up coming in the door okay when he comes in i'm like did she send him over here to like be like a spy keeper or whatever to see what we're doing what are you over here for he literally is just over there acting like it wasn't no bad energy he was always that type of person anyways he was never like a confrontational type of person he never made me, even when he was with her he never made it seem like it was f me like okay this is just him but like what are you really over here for you know what i'm saying at this time he ends up leaving i guess like literally 15 minutes later he calls my phone i'm like what the he like at this point like do you guys want to fight because I'm just tired of the talking, which when he was over, I wasn't saying nothing about his girl. He was not talking about his girl, nothing. So I'm thinking in the back of my head, okay, she hyped up because we're all together, chilling, having fun, and she over there by herself want to fight. Mind you, she dropped him off at the house. Like, I was just confused. Who called somebody's phone saying, dude, we want to fight? And she in the background running her mouth, talking about, tell them, tell them this, tell, like, why you not on the phone? So she telling them, uh, me to meet up and fight her at all these random places in the park. It's two degrees outside. It's snow on the ground. I'm smart, you know, no grip on the Thames. I'm not about to fall and you catch me slipping. No, let's just say Lily. Lily ends up calling and she's on three way or whatever. She's like, y'all could just fight in my house. You're not gonna get jumped. This is not a setup. I'll call JJ because he was the only person with the car. Can you take me to Woo Woo house or whatever? He like, okay, are you really about to fight her? Cause I'm not about to waste no gas. I tell my peoples that I was with like, listen, if I get beat up, do not jump in. Only jump in if y'all see her friend jump in. And her friend was like seven foot. 500 pounds i was not playing about that okay i know her hits is gonna be a little heavy me when i'm about to fight i kind of like have to calm myself down because i really have anxiety so i was literally in my head trying to keep myself calm because i was so mad like you know how like stuff is like building up first of all in between all of this talking the girl is on snapchat at freaking signs around the city talking about where they at where they at and i'm just like what the heck like mind you she got the whole school on the snap so i'm like sis you ain't even tell us to meet you there but basically she put on the front for the whole school like we being scary i'm just like okay basically you're lame <laughs> we all in the car deep everybody lapped up VJ is literally going the fastest he has ever gone. It's snowing outside, mind you. The dudes I was with was like, basically they were walking in first. I really think they were walking in to make sure I wasn't getting jumped to basically see the area first before I walk in. But they might have not been. They might have just wanted to walk in first, you know? I don't know. When they walk in, I ain't gonna say the fraternity, but just know it was the color blue. And all of them were in there. Deep. and it was a couple of other people i can't really remember a lot of the people there but i remember the main people they literally acting like it's a celebration like it's music playing everybody dapping each other up like what up i'm like i'm not here for that i'm here for one thing only and that's to fight like i can talk to y'all after you feel me literally i walk in and i'm looking for her literally five seconds somebody was like she's downstairs go downstairs i'm like Bet. went straight downstairs didn't say nothing to nobody and i seen her big friend but i kind of just tuned her out because like i didn't really care the ex-girlfriend like what's up what's up i don't do the talking so i'm like okay bet basically we get the boop i ain't gonna lie she clapped me as soon i don't know how to fight straight so she clapped me like boop after she did that i kind of grabbed her on around her head like this i didn't grab her hair i grabbed her like around her neck and was like this hitting her but like it wasn't connecting because like i'm so dang on tired at this point like i threw my one hit and i'm just like Whew. mind you she like one foot shorter than me so her head is like this and i'm like right here and so we literally moving back and forth back and forth she trying to hit me like this but her punches was not connected so basically it was like this yeah i was kind of like counting points in my head on how many times she was hitting me so <laughs> I don't know why, but literally I was I counting, I'm like, oh my gosh, it was making me even more mad. I hear one of my peoples like, beat her at, beat her at. I'm like, <sighs> at that point, I'm like, I gotta like suck it up and get it together because like, this is not about to be the end of the fight. Like, so I literally was like, wow. And when next thing you know, I got on top of her and I was like, boom, boom, boom. I only know how to fight like, 
and she got blood on her face. Absolutely. And at that point, I kind of felt bad, and I was like, okay, it's done. Like, no, I ain't trying to send you to the hospital. This is enough. I literally get up because at this point, I'm tired. And I was just holding her. I was like, are you done? Are you done? Because at this point, you didn't made a fool of me. I'm going to make a fool of you. So, so I let her go. Everybody's all like, all up in her face trying to like get her together. And she's just like, I'm not done. I'm not done. Like on some psycho stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I'm scared of you at this point. My people was pushing me up the stairs like, come on, let's just go. Let's just go. And I'm like, okay, bet. Because basically they like thinking about the cops. Yeah, we ended up leaving. So when I went outside, one of my contacts was gone and I'm really blind. They literally congratulate me like, yeah. And I literally wanted to be like. <laughs> But I was really like so happy, but at the same time, I was like humble. Like I wasn't thinking about nothing but the police. Like I just wanted to go in a secluded area. They literally congratulate me, pushing me everywhere. Like, yeah, you'll beat her ass. 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 But basically that's how I was feeling. So I ended up going to the door and changing my clothes because people was contacting me like, um, you just fought, you just fought. I asked the person that recorded to send it to me and I sent it to one person. I sent it to Steve Otto Jr. the third. This mother trucker ends up airdropping it to literally the whole school, damn near. 15 seconds later, I go on Snapchat and I look in the bubble and I see my fit on literally everybody's bubble. Well, I'm like, dog. Y'all want me locked up for 15 years for sure. Everybody know. I guess her parents was like plugged in with the police officers. So I'm like, oh yeah, I'm booked for sure. So I'm telling everybody, just delete it, just delete it, just delete it, just send it to people. Y'all don't have to post it, just don't post it. So I guess that's what everybody did. So I literally go in the dorm and I see like the dudes I'm cool with or whatever. And they was like, oh yeah, you just fall, you just fall. I'm just like, yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to keep it moving. I literally packed that fit and I literally gave it to my cousin because I'm like, no, I'm not going to jail. Like, you're not going to ever say I had this fit before. You're not going to ever see me in this fit. After that, everybody just want to call me Floyd the Champ, all this, that, and the third. I'm like, no. Like, this is not what I came to Ferris for, you know? <laughs> to this day, I do not have any beef with her, any problems. I've seen her a couple times after this day. I'm humble. I'm not the type of person to be extra and be like, oh yeah, that's the girl I fought. You know what I'm saying? I can't be in the same room with her because, you know, I'm going to talk about it. Like, no. I still don't have beef with the girl. I don't have no problems with her. It's not like I'm still mad about it, about anything. I'm still cool with the dude, the beast. Um, <laughs> like I won't do no hate because I know you will. Two hoes with me, Lou will. Big bankroll, all new bills. About to buy a real, cost me two 